has long been the primary fossil fuel to generate electricity and heat for human civilization. Coal has lost its fuel rank, stigmatized as the biggest contributor to the human-made carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas that causes climate change. But it has recently made a strong comeback through various applications. Local researchers have also made a breakthrough in developing a refining technology to remove pollutants and modify shortcomings of low-rank coals. Since the monstrous earthquake accompanied by a tsunami in the nuclear complex in Fukushima in March of 2011, Japan and other parts of the world are shifting away from nuclear power and turning instead to coal for a cheap source of electricity. Coals remain the cheapest, safe energy source that can replace nuclear power. To save costs, low-rank coals are opted to power generators, which undermine global efforts and rules limiting fossil fuel emissions and supporting cleaner energy. The Korea Institute of Energy Research in Daejeon has come up with a solution to the problem by developing a manufacturing process on hybrid coal for the first time in the world. 우리나라의 경우에 2013년 기준으로 어, 총 석탄 수입량은 연간 1억 2천만 톤입니다. 아, 이 중에서 8천만 톤이 국내 5개 발전사를 중심으로 어, 소비가 되고 있고요. 아, 8천만 톤 중에서 약 3천만 톤 정도가 아, 인도네시아에서 수입되는 저급탄이 되겠습니다. 이와 같은 상황에서 어, 저급탄을 어, 고급탄처럼 쓸수 있도록 어, 저급탄을 업그레이딩하는 하이브리 석탄 기술을 저희 연구팀에서 처음으로 개발을 하게 되었습니다. How does low heat content and highly pollutant low grade brown coal metamorphosize into high energy and environmentally friendly substance? Low grade coals have pores with high level inherent moisture content. Coals are ranked low depending on the moist content as it leads to low energy density. After removing the moist content from the raw coal, researchers fill the pores with biomass made out of molasses, glycerol, and sugarcane waste. The coal is then dried and ionized to reborn as hybrid solid fuel. 본 기술과 같이 석탄 기공 안에 바이오매스를 함전시킬 경우 두 가지 연료가 하나의 연료로 전환되면서 연소 효율도 증가되게 됩니다. Composition of well-burning biomass content has sharply boosted the energy value of coal or amount of potential energy that can be transferred into actual heating ability. One kilogram of coal can generate heat of at least 1,300 kilocalories. The hydrophilic surface of low-grade coal is also changed to its opposite nature by reducing water absorptive ability and stopgap in the void. 하이브리드 석탄 제조 과정에서 친수성인 석탄 표면은 소수성으로 전환이 되는데요. 이에 따라서 저급탄이 갖고 있는 약 20에서 30%의 수분을 다시 재흡수하는 것을 방지할 수 있어서 인도네시아 현지에서 국내 그 이송 시에 그만큼의 이제 경제적인 효과도 기대할 수가 있습니다. Increased energy content of hybrid coal can reduce emissions of carbon emissions during the combustion process. 수분을 30% 가량 머금고 있는 저급탄 원탄에 비해서 작은 적은 양의 연료를 사용하기 때문에 그만큼의 CO2를 줄일 수가 있겠습니다. When applied at a thermal power station, coal use can be reduced by two thirds when generated by hybrid coal fuel compared with imported unrefined Indonesian coal. Because less coal is used. Greenhouse gas emissions also can be reduced by around 30%. 원탄의 경우 500MW 출력을 내기 위해서 약 시간당 300톤의 석탄을 공급해야 되는 반면 우리가 개발한 하이브리드 석탄은 시간당 약 200톤으로서 그만큼의 연료를 줄일 수가 있어서 그만큼의 효율을 늘릴 수 있습니다. 발전 효율을 약 2% 정도 향상시킬 수 있었는데요. 어, 발전 효율이 1% 향상될 때마다 어, 연간 배출되는 CO2의 양을 300만 톤 정도 줄이는 효과가 있겠습니다. Korean developed hybrid coal technology is being discussed for exports to Indonesia, Mongol and Rwanda. 해외 기술 이전이 가능한 수익성 있는 사업, 사업화 모델로서 어, 미래 신에너지 산업을 창출하고자 합니다. 
amid coordinated efforts between governments around the world to reduce and stabilize concentration of greenhouse gases, the new technology on environmentally friendly and cost-efficient coal fuel will likely be in high demand in the global energy market. Korea, with patent rights and the technology, can reap economic benefits from exports and technology and resources diplomacy. 최근 중국이 2008년 이후에 석탄 수출국에서 수입국으로 전환되면서 석탄 가격 불균형과 수급 불균형 그리고 저급탄에 대한 관심이 크게 고조되고 있는 상황입니다. 향후에 2030년 경우에 석탄 수요가 급증하게 될 것으로 전망이 되고 있는데 그때 당시에 고급탄 부족에 대응하여 저급탄의 고품화를 통해서 에너지 수급 안정화에 크게 기여할 수 있을 것으로 평가하고 있습니다. The International Energy Agency estimates global coal use will jump 65% from 2009 levels in 2035 and replace oil as the largest fuel in the global energy mix. The new alternative coal generating less pollution and higher energy may one day change global energy fuel pipeline. The race to develop the fifth-generation mobile communication technology has genuinely begun. It's a dream communication technology that's 1,000 times faster than the fourth-generation long-term evolution or LTE. Let's take a look at how 5G mobile communications, set to be commercialized in 2020, will change our lives and how far its development has come. Busan is hosting the largest ever International Telecommunications Union or ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. Of this, the world's eyes are on the World IT Show or WIS in which each country is showing off their latest information communication technologies or ICTs. Telecommunications firms from around the world unveiled their latest technologies ranging from smart home systems that control every device at home with smartphone to tiny unmanned drones. During the WIS and arena of the latest ICTs, the biggest topic was the new 5G technology dubbed the next generation for mobile communications. SK Telecom has unveiled its technology on 5G network pilot studies. It raised the network speed to a maximum of 3.7 gigabytes per second, 48 times faster than that of general LTE. The first ever demonstration of 5G technology has also drawn much attention from a lot of foreign firms that participated in the WIS. I thought 4G was incredibly fast. This just makes it instantaneous. It's like it's like you you're right next to the data. I mean, no latency whatsoever. So, but I can't wait for 5G. Actually, that would be really good. I think 5G is very interesting uh, because it will increase the speeds up towards the 10 gigabit that our, some of our adapters support and some of the technologies that we have. So I think 5 gig will bring a whole new range of uh, ultra HD streaming technologies and those technologies will need quality of service, guaranteed delivery and security products. An international standard on 5G mobile communications technology has not been determined yet. But the concept of 5G currently being discussed is a communications technology and service that supports speeds of 50 to 100 gigabytes per second, which is about 1,000 times faster on average than the general speed of LTE, which is 75 megabytes per second. First-generation mobile communications enabled only analog voice communications between people with brick-sized phones. 
The second generation, which transmitted digitally, enabled data transmission such as text messages as well as voice. From the third generation, smartphones appeared. The current fourth generation enabled high-definition video calls. The key to approaching fifth-generation mobile communications is for an ultra-high-speed, real-time mobile life. 5G mobile communications is forecast to use ultra-high frequency bands together with currently used low-band frequencies. Ultra-high frequency is an alternative to overcome the lack of frequencies in low-frequency bands, but it causes a large radio wave loss and has a short frequency traveling range. The core technology of 5G is to overcome such problems. 대부분의 이동 통신은 6GHz 이하를 사용하고 있는데 6GHz 이하의 주파수에서 5세대의 추가적인 주파수를 얻기는 그렇게 용이치 않을 것 같습니다. 그래서 세계적으로 6GHz 이상의 5세대 이동 통신 기술들을 지금 보고 있는데요. 문제는 이 대역의 가장 큰 문제가 수분에 대해서 굉장히 민감하고 그리고 장애물을 잘 통과를 못함으로써 커버리지가 굉장히 작아서 이동 통신 주파수로서는 그렇게 적합하지 않다고 생각을 해왔는데 최근에 국내 회사에서 사용자들을 향해서 강한 신호를 쏠수 있는 이 빔포밍 기술을 개발을 해서 100km 이상 달리면서도 광대역 서비스를 할수 있다는 시연을 성공적으로 해냈습니다. Samsung Electronics has recently succeeded in demonstrating transmitting and receiving data at a speed of 1.2 gigabytes per second inside a car running at a speed of more than 100 kilometers per hour. It was the world's first demonstration of gigabytes per second level 5G mobile communications in real high-speed mobile environments instead of a lab. Samsung Electronics has secured a giga-level transmission speed by applying the Adaptive Array Transceiver technology in the ultra-high frequency band of 28 GHz. This technology enabled transmitting and receiving radio waves farther in certain directions by arraying numerous antenna elements. What will happen to our lives once 5G is commercialized? The key to 5G is real-time and connection with things. As it enables the instant processing of so much data, every device is likely to be connected wirelessly. If all the devices are connected, it will likely to speed up the development of the so-called Internet of Things. In other words, it will be able to control all the machines at home or smart cars that autonomously run on the road by receiving road information in real time. Moreover, it will enable us to make three-dimensional video calls or holographic conversations and enjoy hologram concerts. We will also be able to virtually play tennis or admire the scenery. Unmanned drones that deliver goods are also slated to be commercialized. These delivery drones fly so they can deliver ordered goods to customers in just a few minutes after loading the parcels. This is not only happening in Korea. Major countries are also competing fiercely to dominate 5G technology in advance. Japan has announced it will commercialize 5G for the first time in the world. China is seeking to cooperate with global firms in development of 5G. Korea, which has been leading the global mobile communications market, plans to unveil 5G technology to the world at the PyeongChang Winter Olympics in February of 2018 after beginning its trial service in December of 2017. 그 전국망도 세계 최초이고요. LTE 어드밴스도 세계 최초다 보니까 새로운 기술인 5세대를 선도해 가는데 새로운 기회가 있을 거라고 생각을 합니다. 5G is the dream mobile communication technology that connects all the objects in real time. Expectations are rising whether this can be a new growth engine that blows life into a wide range of industries, including mobile communications, cars, home appliances, healthcare, and education.